All right, time for the episode of CTGP where I go back and play the two cups I accidentally skipped. I don't know why I skipped two cups. I swear I thought I played them already, but I don't know. Anyhow, I think we're going to play as Yoshi today. I like Yoshi. All right, uh, let's play in a cart we haven't been in yet. So we haven't been in Standard. We haven't been in the... I don't think we were in the Day Tripper or the Sprint. Oof. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Let's go in the Sprinter. Because, uh, actually, hang on, I'm looking at the stats for the sprinter. Okay, its drift is not great, and its handling is even worse. Yeah, I remember that. I really hope we don't have a lot of really tricky tracks today, because this one doesn't have the best turning. Okay, our first cup for the day is the Yoshi Egg Cup, which we accidentally skipped two episodes ago. We've got GBA Mario Circuit, Obstagoon's Palace, Sunset Ridge, and Athletic Raceway. Okay, I think GBA Mario Circuit is going to be quite doable in the Sprinter. I have no idea about the other tracks, so this will be interesting. This might be a repeat of when I was in the Spear and just absolutely did not place first overall. Oh, yay! It's the Mario Kart 8 version of GBA Mario Circuit. That's great. The the MK8 version really livened things up. That one, that one ramp that it moves moves up and the little the graphic increase really makes this course go from being extremely forgettable to being actually a pretty fun standard course all right out of the way yoshi it's only fitting that i be yoshi in the yoshi cup. okay yeah sprint Ooh. okay yeah if we've got a lot of tight turns to make sprinter ain't gonna be too hot okay i'm not even gonna trick off of that Having said that, it's real fast. If we can avoid hitting off-road and, like, falling off and stuff, this will actually be a very fast vehicle. Even if it is, like, a bottom-tier cart. Yeah, like, look at this. We're in a cart, and we have... Well, not... It's not a huge breakaway, actually. DK's right on our tail. Still. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of most Mario circuits. I just find that they're a little on the boring side. Having said that, this one's fine. It's got the right flow of twists and turns to keep things interesting. Okay, as long as we don't get pelted by like a blue shell, we should be okay. Oh, or if that happens. <laughs> Someone hit by a banana peel. Okay, no, we're actually, we are still ahead of the stubborn ape. Cool, and we got a banana peel, so even if he gets a red shell, we should be alright. Yeah, I have no chance of hitting that boost panel on the left side. None. Just trying to avoid hitting the off. So I was wondering where it would be. All right, Sprinter served us quite well on that level. I figured it would. It's not a terribly tricky or twisty track. Good job, Yoshi. You got that. Sp you got the need for speed. Can't wait to see you in Fast and the Furious 59. All right. So the rest of the free courses are brand new to CTGP. Let's see what these are. Obstagoon's Pal. Oh no. I'm seeing some very sharp turns. Oh! Oh, this is a Pokemon level. Oh wait, I've played this one before. I played this. This is one of the tracks that I actually ended up playing with my sister. It's a fun one. I Let's see how well the sprinter handles these very sharp 90 degree turns. Oh, wow, Waluigi, that was not very nice. Okay, uh, that was a shortcut apparently. I did not even know that was there. I thought that was the way we were supposed to go, but that gives me a lead. Yikes, okay. I'm gonna need to pay attention to the minimap, otherwise I have no chance at making a lot of these turns. Please don't be off-road. Well, that's very off-road. <laughs> I also think that the ramp would have been off-road as well. It's a very nice looking level. But this level, I don't think, is particularly well designed for carts like the Sprinter. Actually, 
Wait. Donkey Kong, you little crumb up. Yeah, that's what you, that's what you get. Oof. The problem with the sprinter, apart from its poor drift and turning, is the fact that if you touch, if you hit anything or touch anything that's not like a straightaway that you're intended to go through, you are dead. Oh, darn it. I thought that maybe that wouldn't be off-road. Is that the crud butt donkey call? It sure is. Well, I've fallen off twice, and yet I'm somehow in first place, despite only... This is only my second power-up, I think. And my first one ended up uh, falling in the drink, so... Speaking of the drink, ooh, yeah. Okay, I really like, again, the theming of this course. The only challenge is beating this course using the sprinter. Okay, I'm confused, because I swear I turned at that part on lap one, and it sent me in the drink. Or maybe I'm confusing that turn with this one. Never mind, I'm just a doofus. Oh boy, I love getting a blooper and only inking one person with it. Are you serious? I'm in first for like two seconds and they send the blue shell. This would not happen if I could see the blue shells on the minimap. Oh, Wario, did you hit the wall in the exact part that I hit it on the last lap? You did. Alright, don't be gone. Oh, that's not the right way to drift. Okay, see, that's just rude. Why don't you get Donkey Kong? Who deserves it? No! I couldn't even use the mushroom because there's no straightaways in that part. If I had used it earlier, I would have just hit the wall. Are you serious? That makes you lose your power-up? Thankfully, we are all clustered. So if I can get a good power-up, there's a chance that I can uh, catch back up. Okay, Donkey Kong. Tired of you? I'm ahead of Donkey Kong, that's good. Oh, they hit a mole. Yay. As long as we don't have another blue shell debacle, we should be alright. Well, that's unfortunate. I got rid of all my power-ups. Oh, no. I clipped a pixel and completely stopped for five seconds. That's the sprinter. you don't want that. That was my mushroom that I dropped at the end of last lap. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know how, but we made it in first place on that course. Again, really like the visuals on that course. It's a really fun course. It's just really hard to play when you're on a outside drift cart like the uh, Sprinter. So, I'd still say that's a very, very solid course. Really like it a lot. I won first, but man, that is definitely going to tank my overall ranking for the Cup. So... <laughs> Probably getting a C rank as a result of that. Alright, what next? Sunset Ridge. Oh my gosh, this looks like driving for Santa Barbara. Okay, not anymore. There are not diamond mines in Santa Barbara. Oh great, bouncy mushroom. Why? Looks really nice. I like the sunset. the windy turns. Oh, I'm sick of the Mushroom Gorge music. Brings up bad memories. Alright, DK. Mr. I grab three power-ups. Oh, no. Oh, I hate this already. Hate this already! Oh, 
how many times- how- how long will it take for people to realize that bouncy mushrooms are a terrible gimmick that should not be used? Especially when you're in a cart with really poor handling. So you can't even... Bullet Bill an eighth? That seems weird, but I'll take it! Oh, dry Bowser. Oh, it's like Rock Rock Mountain now. And then Mega Bouncing Mushroom. Okay, that one is fine. I don't mind the Mega Bouncing Mushroom because you're not going to fall off of it. However, the part where you have to bounce on like 16 Bouncing Mushrooms in a row while turning, not nah off. -uh. Nuh-uh. That is not okay. Right, let's see if I can actually do this. I am holding break with all of my might. No! it. See? It doesn't line up! Which is a shame, because the entire rest of the course is all really good. But that one part will draw it down from being, like, an A tier track to being a, like, D tier track. Oh my gosh! This part, I can't even see where I'm going, so... Are you kidding me? I swear the CPUs can just magically teleport their velocity in a different direction to take the power. Free mushrooms in last place. Not a bullet bill. Not a star. Not a gold mushroom. Just free mushrooms. Apparently, it's enough. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can... Yeah, I think I pushed him in a Goomba. Oh, oh, no, 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 not this part, not this part, not this part. I am gonna go extremely slowly. I literally went as slowly as you can possibly go at that part, and it still throws you off a cliff. The only way you can get through that is if you are a computer player who can magically turn as sharply as they want. This is terrible design. It's like Mushroom Peaks on at least a slightly smaller scale. You cannot do that. You cannot put stuff like that in a Mario Kart track. I'm in 5th place and I get the same power up I got when I was in 12th place. Okay, you know what? I'll let you guys handle the Thunder Cloud. Literally on this map, my only chance at victory was just hoping that the CPUs hit each other with power-ups. Because you are guaranteed to fall off at that long mushroom platform part. And again, I want to point out, I was going as slowly as you possibly could go, I was holding right as hard as you possibly could, still plumbing me off the left side of the track. So, that's a shame. If you take out that bouncy mushroom part, that would be like a really, really good track. But that one part drags the entire thing down. So, pfft, not not a fan of that one. Not a fan at all. Athletic Raceway. Oh, this one looks interesting. We're driving through like a sports arena. Okay, I can dig. This, this seems really unique. I like this already. This seems really creative. I Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, yes, and we get the Mario Raceway music. Oh, dude. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I love this. 
those soccer balls in the, uh... <laughs> there are soccer balls in the power boxes. That's so good. Oh, man. This is awesome. Can we get more courses like this? This is wildly creative and so fun to play. Oh, yes. And this course is actually, like, really well balanced for the sprint. Like, the sprinter actually seems like it might... Be. I'm not even going to say the top pick for this track, but this seems like a really good vehicle for Athletic Raceway. I love it. Also, I'm wondering if that's a shortcut you can take through the field. But I'm also a little afraid that they're going to say it's off-road. Oh, five laps! I like that. Okay, no, you know what? I'm act I'm gonna try the shortcut then. I was not paying attention. But if it's five laps, you bet. You better believe I'm gonna try to take that shortcut. Okay, it, it, dark on it. It is off road. Even though it looks exactly the same as the rest of the grass, this grass apparently slows you down. And I'm still in first because I had that big of a breakaway. Oh, dude. Oh! Wait, that... Oh, the pool gradually fills each lap. I'm like, wait, but I drove through... Oh, oh, that's... Okay, that's, that's great. That's genius. <laughs> I love the giant soccer ball making chain chop noises. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a masterpiece. The... Oh, yes, this is washing the taste of the last track out. It's, oh, yes! Oh, I love this track! This is, like, top three tracks in CTVP. Oh, man, I don't even like sports, and this is so fantastic. Okay. Can we take the high dive? Not on lap la four or five. Oh, no, guys, it was big brain. I knew that the shock was going to come, and the blue show was going to come. All of this was planned. All of this was just planned. I'm a genius. Oh, okay. That was not planned. Don't pay attention to that part. Ow, wow. Soccer ball's out for a vengeance. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, guys. You know you know this, what's going to happen. We are going to use this to our advantage. And cut across this uh, area right here. Hey, boo, 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 boo. Oh yes! Okay, okay. That's... That's fantastic. That makes up for the last track. That was so good. Oh my gosh, Athletic Raceway, you are, you are one of my favorite tracks. That was so fun! Super creative, super fun. Stuff changes each lap in such a subtle way. Oh my gosh, that, that was fantastic. Only real complaint with that is that the grass in the shortcut needs to look more different from the grass you can just drive across if you're going to make it off-road. Other than that, that's basically a perfect course. Wow, I got a B rank, even though I fell off like 10 times. Cool, I'll take it. All right, the other cup that I skipped is the Birdo Egg Cup. So even though we were here really recently, we're gonna play as Birdo again. But this time we're going on a bike. Actually, no, you know what? Let's finish. Let's do double carts because we did double bikes for a lot of the early cups. So we'll go day tripper this time. Again, can't remember if I've actually been in the day tripper yet or not. Doesn't matter. We're gonna do it. All right, Birdo Egg Cup. We've got GBA Lakeside Park, not Riverside Park, Lakeside Park, N64 Koopa Troopa Beach, Camp Cardigan, and Mushroom Island. Okay, I've played on three of these courses, and I think they're gonna be pretty good. I love me some Koopa Troopa Beach. I just really hope it's the N64 version, not the Mario Kart 7 version. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. So first up, GBA Lakeside Park. I don't know why it's called Lakeside Park when it's like in a jungle next to a volcano. Honestly, this might be the weakest track in Super Circuit or one of them. But hey, maybe they made it a little more interesting for CTGP. We'll see. All right. Pretty, pretty Princess Birdo in her chariot is gonna beat y'all. <laughs> I guess this is kind of like Mount Lava or Lava Lava Island. Move it, Birdo, <laughs> queen of the universe. Sorry, Donkey Kong. <laughs> bah, Birdo. <laughs> well, that's giving us a nice little lead. I am shocked we got a star. Actually, but I'll take it. 
And the Day Tripper has much better drifting and turning than the Sprinter does, even if it's a lot slower. So, I see this as a big win. Yeah, Lakeside Park's just not that in. It's just like, oh, it's a dirt path with color blocks around it. Yeah, there's a volcano erupting, but honestly, it doesn't do a whole lot. That part's pretty cool, where you launch over the other part of the track. Oh, no. But I had a red shell in first place. That's okay. Cool. All right, all right. This is more fun than it is in Super Circuit. But also just because I don't really like Super Circuit's turning, and especially its drift system. See, this course isn't bad, it's just kind of boring. Like, they made a volcanic jungle boring. Because it's just, it's flat and blah. If they gave it the Riverside Park treatment, this would probably be a really awesome course. Apparently, Birdo started dancing. Maybe... Oh, maybe someone hit one of my shells that I dropped from the uh, power block. That was a while back. Alright, well, Birdo Day Tripper seems to be a pretty solid combo. It is the Birdo egg cup, after all. Wait, every day, baby. See, even though this isn't a bike, the Day Tripper is different enough from the Sprinter that it still feels like a bike. And wow, I've got a breakaway. Even if I get hit by a blue shell, I'll be good. Oh, hey, Blooper. Oh, no. <laughs> what will I do when a red shell's shooting? I just don't know. Oh my gosh, look at that breakaway. Keep them up. I got two more. Okay, I was not expecting that. Enjoy my green shell. Oh, someone did. <laughs> My two shells are still there from the power block. Okay, Lakeside Park. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, it's fine. Lakeside Park's one of those courses I think could be really interesting if you just spiced it up a little bit, add some hills. <laughs> More than just colored blocks as walls. Like, I think that could be a really cool course if you if you touch it up a little bit. But that was still that was still a solid start, I guess. So now Koopa Troopa Beach, please don't be the Mario Kart 7 version. Darn it, it's the Mario Kart 7 version. Great. Yeah, they uh Well actually, oh, maybe they fixed the shortcut. So my this is my favorite course in Mario Kart 64. Because there's like a section of a regular path, a small shortcut, and a big shortcut. And then there's the risk involved with um, which one you go for. Because if you take the regular path, it's the safest, but it's also the slowest. If you take the small shortcut, it's a little bit trickier than the regular path, but it's also a little bit faster. And then if you take the big shortcut, it can cut off a huge chunk of the course. But if you fail it, and it's kind of tricky to take, then you lose a huge amount of time. Now maybe... Okay, do we need a mushroom to get over this? You do. Okay. So big shortcut can only be taken if you have a mushroom. That's, I think that's the way it's supposed to be in Mario Kart 64. Oh, and no, they still made the shortcut smaller. Or they made the shortcut not nearly as big. In Mario Kart 64, the shortcut, you go into like a, you go over a ramp, jump through the ramp into like the entrance to a small cave. And it, it cuts off, like, a quarter of the course. It's so big. Here, it basically, it's like, oh, you cut off, like, a turn. Now, granted, you also cut off a turn in the N64 version. The difference is the turn you cut off is, like, like bigger. Or maybe it's just Mario Kart 64, where there's not a whole lot of, uh, 
speed otherwise. Okay, so this is the smaller shortcut. They also kind of took that out as well. There's supposed to be a small sandbar above the water. Or, like, if you can avoid the crabs. It's great. Alright, it's still fine, but again, it's no... Oh, wait, shoot. I, I did that. I did that to myself. Whoops. Hey, if I get a mushroom. So if I get a mushroom, maybe I can take the shortcut. No, it hit the crab. Okay, really? Thanks for warning me. Please give me, like, a mushroom of some kind. Or a boost. That's not a mushroom or a boost. Thankfully, the CPUs are really bad at avoiding the power block. Yeah, I can use a boost, like, right now. That's not a boost! Darn it, never even got to take the shortcut. Are you serious?! Honestly expecting Blooper to show up. Haha! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Don't you dare try and pass me. Sorry, Charlie, run, boys, run. Birders in the house with the rising sun. Okay, that's fun. Wow, Dry Bones who had only 1.1 fur. Good for you, Dry Bones. That instantly ratcheted him up into the top 50%. <laughs> cool. All right. It, that was probably better than the 3DS version. But that's no N60. That's not N64 Koopa Troopa Beach. That's a different track. All right. Camp Cardigan. This is a fun one. This is another one I remember playing. It, it, you drive through a campsite and there's also traffic. It's, it's fantastic. It makes you feel like you're at camp. Although I don't know what camp requires you to wear a cardigan, but here we go. Oh look, we've got a hammer bro and we've got some shy guys who are welcoming us to camp. Oh, we got some dead ends on the track as well. Donkey Kong, move it. This is Birdo's first time at summer camp. Donkey Kong, stop being annoying. Oreo in the Piranha Prowler. We're going up here. This is a bit of a... So it's interesting because there's like a couple different ways you can go. Like you can see Diddy Calm went a different route and it's ultimately taking us to the same place. Oh, <laughs> that was so close. Uh, yeah. Kawabunga! <laughs> Diddy Kong is in the same car, but he's going faster. Maybe Diddy has a bigger speed bonus than Birdo does. Oh, come on! If it hadn't been for the shrink, I would have wrecked house. Move it, Diddy Kong. Birdo. Okay, this time we're not going up that way. We're going to go on the highway. Got to avoid some milk trucks, but it might be a little quicker. Don't go in that tunnel. That tunnel will cause violence when you have to pull you out. Fun. I love I love this level. Really, really nice uh, theming, and it's just it's fun to play. That's what you just gotta ask yourself: Is it fun? If you want to figure out if something is fun or not, ask yourself this basic question: Number one, do I use bouncy mushroom platforms? If so, stop what you are doing and do something. This has been Artie's helpful tip for the day. You're welcome. God bless. Alright, okay, going pretty well. Baby Daisy. I guess, well, Baby Daisy is a little too young to be going to summer camp. 
Sorry, Camp Counselor Birdo is not gonna allow babies in the summer camp. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, Birdo! Oh my gosh, Birdo is racing perfectly. <laughs> All right, 45 points. We have a huge lead over the second placer. And it's time for the only track in this circuit that I have not played before. I actually can't remember what it was. Mushroom Island. I don't like the sound of this because it's probably going to have bouncy mushroom platforms. Or maybe it'll just have background mushrooms. What? Oh, this is like a different kind of mushroom. Oh, I see. It's the kind of mushrooms you don't want to eat. What the? Oh, nope. There's still going to be bouncy mushroom platforms. Great. Okay. Well, it was fun playing this cup while it lasted. Oh, yuck. Okay, at least there's a lot of bouncy mushrooms, so that way it's a lot harder to fall on. So I will give you that. Why are we getting this music again? I'm sick of Mushroom Gorge's song. Maybe I can pump my own music in here. This is trippy. It's like Mushroom Gorge, Gorge meets Rainbow Road. I see what you're trying to do here, and I just gotta say, don't do drugs, kids. That is not the path to happiness. I like these uh, trippy hippie signs telling you that there's a turn coming. Okay, you know what? As far as courses that rely on the Bounty Mushroom gimmicks uh, platforms go, I gotta say this is one of the best ones. Probably because it's like really weird. Reminds me of the Love Ducks. Oh, okay. Do not go that way if you don't have a mushroom. Okay, that, if you don't have a boost mushroom. Excuse me, Bowser. Birdo wants to be prom queen, so, um, get back in place. I'm not gonna have to that last part, because then I'm gonna hit the ball. Excuse me, peon. Bowser. Birdo was a better boss than you were. You don't believe me. You fought Birdo like 18 times. You only fought Bowser 8 times. Check me. <laughs> okay, okay. This course is actually pretty cool. I, again, I would prefer if there weren't the bouncy mushroom platforms, but I will still give it a pass regardless. Okay, I will. Okay, well, we're not taking that way, actually. We should not take that way, because that is the way that made us fall off a cliff last time. A boink. See, the, the developer for this level clearly understood if you're gonna put in bouncy mushroom platforms, you gotta put in a lot. Well, not enough! <laughs> uh oh. Fell in the crick. Ah, uh, nope! We made it, we made it, we're good, we're good. For now. Wooper showed up to laugh in my face for It's like, I can't believe you almost fell in the creek. <laughs> well, we actually did fall in the creek. It was only partly my fault. Okay, yeah, this is one of the trippiest levels out there. But Birdo still reigns supreme. Yeah, Birdo. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I almost skipped over these two cups. Well, I did temporarily, but wow. Some of the best tracks were in here. Well, okay. By that, I mean Athletic Circuit was obviously not the best track, clearly. Yay, we got a star. That's awesome. Just like Bird, I was a star. Before we end the video, I'm back here on Sunset Ridge just to try and see. So I'm on, I am Toadette on the Quacker, which is the combo with the literal tightest turning. And even then, I can, like, barely make it across this gap without falling off, so... It was, this map was presumably tested only with extreme inside drift bikes, so... Yeah, no wonder that I was having so much time with you know, trouble with the sprinter. Still, do not give that a pass, though. If you want your track to be good, it's gotta be manageable with every vehicle. Test your tracks using the Jet Setter, people. Finally, we're back here in Koopa Troopa Beach, because I never actually got to show off the shortcut. But here we are in time trials mode with some mushrooms. 
And Habushki! Into the cave, and we come out through the waterfall. Okay, so I guess that's actually a pretty great shortcut. Still, it was better in the N64 version. Anyways, there you go. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Arty, so it looks like we'll probably have three more videos at least before we transition to the next Let's Play. I think having nine CTGB, CTGP videos in between Let's Plays from time to time is kind of a nice balance. It gives me a chance to <laughs> try out some of the cups, have some fun. So, yeah. It's it's gonna be pretty awesome. So we do about 18 cups every every time we uh, do CTGP. That's my current plan. Might change, but that's what I'm uh, wrangling at. So there's a lot of fun tracks today. There was really only one that wasn't that great. The rest were all pretty fantastic. So hope we can keep this up. Thanks for watching, everybody. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.